This man is crawling six miles to the church of San Lazaro. And he's not the only one. In fact, so many people are doing it that bystanders barely seem to notice anymore. The church is 10 miles outside of Havana, and on the 17th of December, Cubans make the pilgrimage for the Saints' Day Festival. They've closed the road to private cars, but there are other ways to get there and demonstrate your faith. Sackcloth, for example. San Lazaro was dirt poor. It shows you sympathize. If you really want the saint's attention, drag a stone. Or two. The heavier, the better. Ah, no, coge peso. Oye, verá que. 30 libras. This is Miguel's sixth and last pilgrimage, and he's ready to celebrate. Though he's only halfway there. If you think this shows dedication, Though I'm just as impressed by his support staff. She's been singing him onwards for the past 17 hours, and she doesn't even know him all that well. Despite the fact that she's Catholic, she's calling Cubayende, the African Santeria incarnation of Saint Lazaro. But the most difficult penance of all is neither rock nor roll. It's a three-year-old child. They've been underway for 13 hours. And the little boy is overtired. Daddy is not allowed to stand. Are they really going to make it? Sí, sí, cómo no. Not everyone is that committed. These guys secretly started a hundred meters from the church and are milking it for all it's worth. They refuse water. <laughs> So who, exactly, is San Lazaro? There are actually three versions. You'll find the mainstream Catholic saint up on the altar, dressed in his Sunday best. Then there's the pauper, covered with sores, and all alone but for his faithful hounds. He's the Cuban favorite, the underdog. Out behind the church is the African Santerio version, Cubayende. In Cuba, San Lazaro is known for three things. His poverty, his love of dogs, and for his ability to perform miraculous cures. Castro once tried, unsuccessfully, to eradicate religion in Cuba. 
He even canceled Christmas in 1969. If you can't afford a cash contribution, a nearby fountain is supposed to have healing powers. Though Cubans may be devoted Catholics, they're equally dedicated entrepreneurs. The streets leading to the church are lined with other ways to spend those hard-earned pesos. There are few things the Cubans find harder to resist than a slow-roasted pig. <laughs> Even the garbage is just another opportunity. In Cuba, very little goes to waste. This festival is as much about the Cuban character as it is about the Catholic faith. Carrying on against all odds. Always there to support each other. And enjoying themselves along the way. Thank you, that